I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction. Here with a three minute cattle market update for Wednesday, September the 16th, where we're really in a down syndrome right now. And I borrowed that from my commission man, St. Joe Stockyards, who I took a load of heifers too that are going to lose money here on Wednesday. But uh, your board's been uh, pretty much down. Well, actually, live cattle on Monday closed up uh, 72 to a dollar, and uh, we're down on Tuesday from 30 to 55, but showing some strength. Closing on Tuesday at 140.60. Feeder cattle, of course, are down Monday and Tuesday with Monday down 30 to 55. The out fronts were actually a little bit stronger, but Tuesday down hard from 182 to 205 with September closing on Tuesday at 198.32. But uh, just a hard market. And actually the, the cash is, is starting to drift lower than the board is now, losing more money without the daily limits. And uh, without that to hold it up, your weighted average on your live cattle for last week on steers on a live basis was 139.18, which was 257 lower than the previous week. Dress sales were 219.12, which was three dollars, a little over three dollars lower than the previous week. So actually, there was more of those lower sales uh, than we thought, and it was a little bit lower on the weighted average than we thought. But those are the lowest uh, weekly weighted averages since January of 2014. Look at your cash feeder markets for the week. Oklahoma City had 10,600 head, so you know these guys are wanting to get rid of these cattle now because they know the market's going down now and, and uh, not really going to see any signs of it picking up anytime soon. And we know the calves are coming, but still quite a few yearlings moving. Oklahoma City uh, was down five to ten dollars on yearlings, had spots of 15 uh, lower on yearlings, weighing over 750. Joplin had 6,000 head, seven to ten lower on feeders. Calves at both places were 10 to $20 lower, so they're really going to take a hit on these calves. Uh, you're, really, the problem is these big heavyweight cattle coming out of the corn belt, and your guys in the corn belt, especially your farmer feeders, don't necessarily feed cattle for a certain amount of days. They feed cattle for a time premium, a time frame, and they know that they're going to have corn coming in here in the next couple of weeks, so they just fed the cattle until the corn ran out. And, and they probably still got a little bit of corn left in the bins from last year, but they got 1,650 pound cattle now and it's weighing heavily on the market. Your boxes continue to fall uh, and it's all really sums up to the heavier imports, which is mostly on your uh, ground beef, which uh, are going to your uh, hamburger joints and places like that. They don't have to stamp where that meat come from there. Uh, just on your, uh, uh, in your supermarkets, but the slaughter's been down. We're getting used to that. Uh, look at some of your uh, individual markets on Cattle Market Central. Tama, Iowa on Monday had a load of steers weighing 716 at 224.50 and you think, man, that's not too bad. But then it uh, started weighing heavier on Tuesday. Imperial, Nebraska had a load of steers weighing 785 at just 203 on Tuesday. Kingsville, Missouri had a load of steers weighing 836, weighing 193.85, weighing a lot heavier on those cattle weighing, weighing in the eights and beyond because uh, those lighter weight six and seven weight feeders, they have a little bit of time to uh, feed their way out of it on this cheaper corn. But uh, maybe things will pick up in the cash market. Uh, you're finally getting into a place where some of these cattle will hedge because the board's actually a little bit stronger than the cash market. But uh, these retailers, they like selling uh, lower volume at higher prices rather than uh, dropping the price and, and, and doing advertisements and selling more meat. But check out DV Auction. Uh, we got the Conley Angus sale right here close to home at 1 o'clock on Saturday for the annual production sale. That's three minutes. We'll talk to you on Friday.